Hello, this is Mike Skinner and Geeks. And you're watching Rewind TV. SBTV. Had this little songs video shoot. Behind the scenes exclusive. It's done by how we get down. <laughs> exclusive. They talk about they wanna cut crime down. I do something positive and they fly down. I'm pissed off, so I lie down. Grab a spliff, grab a pen, and I wind down. So Mike, you just rolled up that jumper. Yeah. Definitely feeling it. You want me to roll it up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like, where's the jumper from? Is that from Ted's collection? Um, or? You know what? I need to find out. I think it's um I think it's uh, money. Is it money? money? I don't know, it looks a bit like a cassette player to me. Large. Large. <laughs> yeah, it's large. That's a good name for it. Overly brand. large. L R G. Yeah. <laughs> and tell us a little bit about the haircut yeah. going on. So, so this? this is yeah, basically um I'm I'm uh, I'm like yeah I'm 90s you know that's that's me now for the summer. I've really? just decided it last week. Yeah, I'm noticing the uh, the Vanilla Ice tape over there. That's oh. uh, that was the first album I ever bought. Vanilla Ice. Yeah. So really, you don't want to be filming me. You want to be. Can I ask you a question? Did you learn the dance moves? Didn't go that far. No. <laughs> but you knew all the no. words. Yeah. All the words. Yeah, I mean, everyone does. And did you wear those pants as well? You see, I was at school, you know, I had a school uniform, so, you know. But I mean, I had, what did I have? I had like the, uh, you know, I had the, the shades with the kind of the fluoro, you know, that wasn't really vanilla rice really, but it was. He did have those, yeah. The, the fluoro size, you know, and the big cap, you know, it was. Did you ever do the crisscross thing where you reversed it all? See, I was going to be old by then, you know. <laughs> really? Yeah, that was probably, I was in the third year by then. I see you're rocking some big chain there, or is that on your glasses? No, this isn't a big chain, this, this is I mean, just, that is a, sick. I mean, this is just wow. a way to Original light up, lighting. really. This is nothing to do with the costume, to be honest. This nothing. Is just, you know, I like to smoke, you know. You know how much they go for on eBay, those lighters now? These ones? Yeah, I shot mine for £5. Really? Yeah, man, thank Well, you. I've got like 50 in my studio. Serious, well, we could do a little Serious. deal if Which you Which is, 5 times 50, it's a lot. It's a lot. If you can it's hear any commotion going on, that's the crackheads fighting crackheads. down there. Crackheads in the back. So you used to roll with a lot of crackheads, did you? Bear. Bear. No, not really, no. <laughs> but you used, to, you used to score shotings in the squat. Yeah. 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 That's what I so, but I mean, you don't do that anymore? Yeah. Not anymore, no. I, I kind of um, I kind of went to the end and I came back, you know. From there. So, um, but I'm, you know, I'm a... Uh, I'm still, I have a lot of fun, you know. I just don't get too negative anymore. That's a good thing. It's That's a good, a good thing. thing. It's a good thing. And obviously we just done the Slow Songs track. So do you want to tell us how that came about? Uh, well, Slow Songs came about because uh, I wanted to do a beat for gigs and I sent it to you. You did, that was a really good <laughs> idea that was, wasn't it? Yeah. When I said you check out gigs, I thought that was a good yeah. idea as well, yeah. So I, I, sent, I sent it to you <laughs> and you sent it to him. And then, and then Tyrone um, said it to him. Sorry, Tyrone. 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 And then um and then and then he did the bars. And, and it's were, fair to say we both got quite we emotional. We were emotional, yeah. Yeah. We were emotional. Did you actually and, have uh, a tear roll down? Uh well oh no. <laughs> no. no, no, no. I was, it was kind of kind of shaking, you know. The hands were shaking, mm. you know. Um And Carlos, did you come then, up with the idea for the chorus straight away or did it take a bit of time? Um the chorus, to, yeah, basically, I didn't really have a lot of time, to be honest. I, what I would have normally done is I would have written those words and that melody and I would have sung it and then I would have got a singer to sing it for me, which is what, I've, you know, which is what I did for Night Night and you know, all those tunes. Um, but I didn't really have any time, really, so I just thought, I just turned on the auto-tune and you know, made it sound like presentable, you know. And that's what the funny and thing if, is. And if everyone had hated it, I'd have got, I'd got, I'd have got a singer, you know. But I think it's one of those things, like, that was kind of what worked for me about it, was it wasn't what you'd expect. And it did yeah. have that kind of raw, gritty feel. Yeah, yeah. Which made the whole thing make sense. And obviously your last verse as well, for me it felt like a bit of a, um, you know, something that you would have expected from you a few years back yeah. in terms of lyrical content. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. And that was a great thing yeah. to hear. Yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was about kind of... Um, I guess how I would, you know, how I would relate to the song that he'd already written, you know, and that's kind of my connection, really, is is via my uh, illustrious past. <laughs> that's one word for it. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. And gigs. How did you come about for the idea for slow songs? I just. Did you get emotional too? Yeah, because no, it was an emotional beat. You get me. So. 
Would you agree when you heard it, it wasn't the kind of beat you would expect from Mike? Nah, nah. I just... I didn't even know what to expect, really. Mm. I just thought, whatever it is, I just have to work with it. But it took me long to rap to it, because I can't be bothered, really. I was like, ah. Oh, it's is not, that nah, not, not in a way like that, but you see, like, emotional beats like that, man. I don't really like writing to it, because I get pissed off after I finish writing a lyric, you know Because it always, it's always something that, that pisses me off. So, I thought, ah, uh, I'm going to have to be in a bad mood to write to this one. So I had to wait till I was... So when you're in a happy mood, you've had a nice day, you don't want to go and write lyrics about your dark past yeah, and all the rest of it. Yeah. And then one week I was pissed off. Tyrone was pissing me off. <laughs> uh, just quickly. What had Tyrone done to piss you off? Uh, what are them ones? What did he do? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I just went to the studio quickly, wrapped it up. And like, that was it, but job After that, I didn't even listen to it. It was like, I thought, like, that's how pissed off I was. I just ripped to it, quickly done it. And I thought, uh, I don't even like it, then I left. And then they, they mixed it down in the studio. And then I rang and said, yeah, what's that song saying? It's crap, in it? And then it was like, no, it's heavy, it's heavy. And I went back and listened to it. I was like, no, this is hard, yeah. And sent it back to my... It's so funny, because you thought you were going to be shit on it as well. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm not really a rapper, really, you know. I've never, and I've never really kind of got on with with the scene, really, because I've never really been regarded as a rapper, really. So, I mean, I kind of... Um, Would you regard yourself as out of interest? Uh, a lyricist, maybe, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, I mean, I love rap music, and and um, and I think, like, proper rappers can hear the rhymes, you know, um, but I just I just don't really have all the other stuff, really. I can't really stand on a stage and, and kind of uh, and compete, you know, so... But, um... But so I think I have kind of respect from people in, in certain ways, but um, and that's why I've never really kind of like been on tracks, you know, with other people really because, uh, because you're really my selective, songs, aren't you? Well, yeah, not not like it's not like I won't work with him. It's like I won't sound very good, you know, with him. So so I you know it's it's, it's a first for me really because uh, I guess I just don't really have the confidence normally to kind of be on a track with other rappers. And that's mad because most people would look at you and think, you know, legend sold how many millions and think you were full of... Yeah, but I mean, you've only got to check the forums, haven't you, really? Do you do that? Well, I don't, know because, 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 uh, um, I mean, it's, like I say, it's, it's not really, uh, it's not really my world. No, I never check comments about myself either. <laughs> they always say really horrible things so about me. you done your thing on that, yeah. Thank you. It's like you just sucked in what I had done and just spat it back out again. And what I like as well is that you're, for me, that you're a poet. And I think that your wordplay is really, really unique. And I think that both of you have that uniqueness. And that's why the track makes a lot of sense, you two doing it together. But can you tell us a bit about the vibe of today and how you're going to take that song and make this video? Uh, well, I, um, we had dinner, didn't we? And I, and I thought that uh, it would be a good idea to, to do it in slow motion. It was the first thing that came into my head, really. Slow motion because it's called slow songs, and, and like to me, it, the whole song just feels like a really hot day, and not necessarily in a good way, mm -hmm. you know, like just hot, you know, where like I've, it felt like to me like the pro green situation where you feel that vibe bubbling up and you know you should yeah. really leave, and if you stay, something's going to kick off. Yeah, but but also kind of yeah, it's quite beautiful as well, you know. So um, you know, this is beautiful, you know. Yeah, I'm feeling this look. I mean, this is a lot like your flat that you live in at home, I believe. Totally. Yeah. You know, Mike has sold a lot of records, but he likes to keep it real. <laughs> um, so, you know, a lot of this stuff has actually come from Mike's house, mm. such as the leftover food um, and the foil on the floor. <laughs> and, and, the, vanilla and, ice. and the vanilla ice. I mean, which other rappers are you into other than vanilla ice? Oh, God, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I've only, I've not really been listening to American stuff lately. I don't know why, I just kind of, um, yeah, I mean, I, I like Ice Kid. You know, um, uh, green. I like the. Uh, There's a track with Wretch 32 as well. Yeah, I mean Wretch. You know, Ghetto. I mean, all you know. Um, you know do you, do you still listen back to all those old remixes that you did? No, I mean I never listen to my own stuff. I mean it's like, what? You know, why mm. would you want to? Um, yeah. I don't know. It just, it just kind of. I'm, re I mean, I'm really proud of like pranging out and stuff like that. You know. Have you had, have you had a favorite track you've ever ever made? Uh. Yeah, I mean, my fav 
my favourite song of mine is, is Never Went to Church really, but that's just because it's you know about my dad and stuff and it's just personal. But um, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty proud of the whole career, you know, as yeah.